Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. I'm going to do a review on the Econolage Hotel in Hicksville. This is my first review of uh, being in this uh, hotel. Actually, this is my first review of being in any hotel, to be honest with you. Let's see how this actually works. So, Basically, when I was looking for a hotel I, in the area, I was actually looking for the cheapest hotel. And I'm sure uh, if you guys were looking for a hotel, many of you guys are doing the same thing. Because who wants to overpay for a stay? Um, so, off the bat, I will say that I like it. Um, this is not the first time I've been here. It's a very, very, very... It's a very, very nice um, hotel for the price. I believe uh, this was the cheapest I found in the area. It's it was eighty four ninety nine as advertised on some website uh, at the hotel. Um, it may have been like ninety nine dollars, but they actually do give you a ten percent discount. Um, they actually have the ability to give you a 10% discount. Because <clears throat> I actually actually did ask for hotel pricing at the hotel versus what I saw online. Um, there, were, there are a, a couple of these. I think there's a, 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 an Econolage hotel in the area and there's a Super Econolage. And I got to tell you, this Econolage hotel is actually better than the Super Econolage, which... I think the fee for that was probably a bit higher. It, was, it started out at a hundred um, on some website, and and uh, wasn't even in a uh, better neighborhood. And this, the neighborhood around this area is pretty decent. Uh, it's a pretty decent neighborhood. You guys don't have to worry about much about um, any issues with crime and stuff like that. Overall. I actually like the layout of this room. It's very clean, obviously. I'm doing a review of a single room. All right, uh, comes with the AC. AC works fine, it's a little bit loud. AC's just a little bit loud, but not really the biggest deal. I like the aesthetics of the room. Uh, the, the lamp's nice, the lamp's nice. They give you four lamps. Uh, they do give you a clock with a USB port, very important, but I really wish that USB port was on the other side because I like sleeping on the other side. And I tried to move it, but I couldn't move it onto the other side. Comes with a microwave, comes with the coffee maker, which didn't work, mm. which is fine. I don't drink coffee, um, but it didn't work. It actually comes with this um, ice container and they, there is an ice machine out there which I was surprised at really really great that there's a ice machine outside comes with a refrigerator and uh, you guys get this refrigerator I'm sure they have this refrigerator in all the rooms um, you guys may want to turn it low because anything you've put in there it's gonna freeze even if you put it on the lowest uh, rung of the refrigerator it's gonna freeze but outside of that it's great the uh, Housekeeping comes. I've been here for like four days. Housekeeping comes every time I'm out. They change the sheets, they change the towels, they clean the bathroom, and uh, they sweep up. It's really, really nice. Um, the furniture is decent. I don't use the TV much. I'm not much of a TV watcher, more of a YouTube person. Front desk is great. Front desk is great. Um, it doesn't look like it's a huge hotel. But I gotta tell you, once you get in, it's like, it's pretty big. It's pretty decently sized. It doesn't look huge from the outside, but it looks decently sized. I did enjoy my stay. The bed was great. Very, very comfortable bed. Very big bed. Obviously, it depends on whether you guys get a, uh, what is it? Two beds or a big, huge queen bed. But it, everything's great, all right? It's clean. It's... Um, it's. Uh, I think the Econo Lodge has been here for like decades, like decades. It's it's been here. Um, as far as the bathroom is go goes, <clears throat> the shower is great. Uh, shower is good. Maybe it's a little bit strong to be honest with you, but not the biggest deal. 
um, I'm saying it's strong because it sprays a lot of water outside of the peri perimeter of the shower, but I'm not complaining about that. It's fine, it's fine. Um, everything else, um, not bad. They changed up the towels. Housekeeping changed out, changes out the towels. It needs to be changed out every day. Um, when I first walked in, it's a nice, uh, you know, it was, it's very nice and smell nice, you know. Um, <clears throat> It, it, it smelled nice like a hotel room should um, the bedding is wonderful the sheets are white tidy whitey and uh, this chair is great they give you a desk and uh, some uh, some drawers obviously as you guys can see from my clothes I'm not putting my I'm not even I'm not staying long enough to actually put my clothes in the drawers but overall I can't complain about it. Uh, it's got all these sensors, uh, carbon monoxide, smoke, this stuff. It's got a dead boat and uh, what you call it, really important. If you guys are staying at any hotel motel that you guys lock up with a dead boat and um, on top, whatever that's called. You guys want to drop a comment on what that's called, definitely like drop a comment on, comment on what it's called. It's got this little hanger. And obviously they got this. If you guys need this for, uh, I'm not quite sure what this is for, but I'm sure it's for something. <sighs> but anyway, overall, uh, <clears throat> I give this a thumbs up. If you guys have ever been here, definitely like drop a comment in the comment section. Let us know um, whether um, your stay here was as good as mine. Um, I gotta tell you, for the cheapest uh, hotel room in the area, and uh, these days, if you get a hotel room, well, you know what? To be honest with you, these days, if you get a hotel room uh, around a hundred bucks within the New York area, I mean, New York State area, I've, you know what? Funny enough, I've actually uh, traveled down south to Florida, and um, I've actually seen hotel rooms in the '60s. But we're talking about like in uh, areas that are pretty much just rural and dead and stuff like that. But. Uh, uh, this hotel room um, is about eighty four ninety nine taxes. It comes out to a hundred. You gotta put a hundred dollar deposits for um, any issues. Uh, a security deposit, hundred dollars, just in case you know um, there's any abuse of the room. They give you back that back in three to four days um, after you check out. Which I, you know, which I wish they didn't. Uh, do but I can't understand why they do that now as far as breakfast is concerned uh, this uh, Econolodge used to serve breakfast like way back when what's talking about maybe like a decade ago I don't know when they stopped that but they did stop that I've stayed here a long time ago one time I stayed here a long time ago they served breakfast breakfast was good they don't do any that anymore <sighs> probably because prices of everything went up and uh, it's just a way for them to save money but it's fine it's fine. You guys, you guys can go get your own breakfast. Um, I have stuff in the refrigerator, so I don't mind that. But aside from that, um, then, you know, I couldn't say anything bad about it. It's a great hotel room in a great area for, surprisingly, the cheapest room, uh, hotel room that you can find in the area. How do you like that? Because um, I've gone to some... I gotta tell you, sometimes you do not want to pick out the cheapest hotel room because that's where you get, you know, it's not in a great area. You get, well, you know what? Not that great. Everybody else that actually chose it, <laughs> they're not, uh, well, how do I explain this in a way where I'm talking about, right? You pay for what you get, but in this case, you know, uh, in this case, um, it's, it's, the price is awesome, and you actually do pay uh, a lot less from what, for, for what you get, which is a lot more. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. All that good stuff. Uh, appreciate your time, right, guys. Take care.